Hi everybody, I've been kind of busy as of late and have been kind of hard to uh, <clears throat> hard push to do, do a new top five or a bottom five or any, anything really. So anyway, one of my favorite cartoon series of all time has always been He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. I absolutely love it, uh, everything about it. It's, a, it's just a crazy cartoon series and I, you know, one of my favorites. But I wonder, I want to do a top five, something relating to He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. But here I'm presenting to you my bottom five most annoying characters from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Because even though He-Man and the Masters of the Universe is one of my favorite cartoon series, there's a lot of bad, horrible characters in it. And I have the first season of He-Man on DVD, and that's almost a hundred episodes there. So quality rather than quant or qu uh, quantity rather than quality but you know I love He-Man but there are a lot of bad characters in He-Man and these are the five I think absolute worst characters or at least my personal uh, preference here and uh, so a uh, number five Fang Man from the Time Corridor if you've never heard of Fang Man I'm not surprised because Time Corridor is the only episode he's it was ever in and he's not really well, he doesn't have, like, an annoying voice. He looks a little stupid, but he's not really incredibly annoying looking. So, you might wonder, you know, why Fang Man? You know, uh, why is Fang Man on, on my list of most annoying He-Man characters? And the reason is, quite simply, that all Fang Man is, is a replacement Beast Man. I mean, honestly, the character's power is that he controls these pterodactyl things or something, but there's already, Skeletor already has a henchman who can control animals. He's called Beast Man. He's in practically every other episode of He-Man, and they decided to, just for this one episode, not to have him, and instead have Fang Man. And the thing is, Fang Man is not a character from the Masters of the Universe toy line, so this is a character that was that the writer for Time Corridor just came up on his own and decided to throw in there in order to have his little creative bit. By the way, Time Corridor is one of my, absolutely my, one of my least favorite episodes of He-Man. It's, su it's such sloppy writing and, you know, it's a bad episode already. But the fact that it has this horrible character in it is, you know, it doesn't make, it doesn't do it any favors, definitely. Number four on the list, Lady Edwina from The Creatures of the Tar Swamp. I mean, Lady Edwina is just, um, she's Adam's cousin, but she is a complete, uh, annoying, rude, arrogant, greedy bitch. And <laughs> everything I've said is absolutely true. And in spite of all of that, Orko has a crush on her in the episode. <laughs> The creatures from Tar Swamp. I mean, I, there's no logic to it. There's no reason for it. It is one of the most unbelievably stupid things to have happened. But thank God she's only in a couple of bits in the hep in this episode. And The Creatures from the Tar Swamp is one of my favorite episodes for me, Man and the Masters of the Universe. But if you stop to think about Lady Edwina as a character, she is just an awful, awful bitch. <laughs> and... I have no idea how how you can how can you make a character like that honestly but she's only number 4 on the list because she at least gets her come up at the end of creatures from the tar swamp so even though she's a complete bitch she doesn't ruin the creatures from the tar swamp in fact she is probably one of the reasons why that episode is so memorable because it, she's a really annoying bitchy character who gets who gets her come up at the end okay Number three, and this is a big one, some people are going to probably hate me for this, but I do have to put this guy on this list. At number three, Merman. I fucking hate Merman. I mean, even though he's a member of the original Council of Evil, I just cannot... Okay, I can take, like, Beast Man, I can take, like, seriously, even though he's a complete goofball most of the time. Trapshaw, I can kind of take seriously. Fucking, even fucking Triclops, I can kind of look at and think, yeah, that's a kind of a serious villain. But Merman with that gargly voice, <laughs> oh my god, I just, I just die a little bit inside every time he speaks. <laughs> and, but, uh, Merman, of course, he's, he's a bit of a stock character, so he gets used a lot, so, 
that's another reason why I hate him. That he's annoying and he occurs a lot. There are a couple of episodes that Mer that Murmur Man is in that he doesn't manage to ruin, in spite of the fact that I absolutely hate him. One of them is the infamous the search for the VHO, which is one of the funniest episodes of E-Man: The Masters of the Universe. I recommend checking that one out. And the other one is, of course, the fan favorite episode, Teal's Quest. And because of the storyline, Merman doesn't manage to ruin that. But honestly, Merman is just fucking ridiculous. These are, I, I've definitely saved the worst for last. Oh boy. Number two, Locos or Locus from the Wizard of Stone Mountain. Now, again, The Wizard of Stone Mountain is actually a pretty good episode. I really like the storyline of that one because it deals with this wizard who, has a cr who had a crush on Tila like years ago and still holds a torch for her. And then he basically does make a de deal with the devil, quite literally, and Locus is sort of the, uh, the devil in this case. And the episode itself, the storyline is really sweet, it's really funny, and romantic, which is something that I like. But Locus! I mean, for God's sake, you look at this character already, you think you're heading into trouble. But then, just to top it off, she, he has the most annoying, screechy voice. I mean, I know it's been used with some other supporting characters in other He-Man he episodes, but Locus! He's such a central character to the storyline that he actually makes it so that I can't watch this episode, like, like very often. It's really, oh my god, Locus is just so annoying, but at least towards the end he doesn't get to say a lot, so, uh, he doesn't entirely ruin the episode, The Wizard of Stone Mountain, but he is just an incredibly annoying and just disturbing looking character. <laughs> Oh my god, and I do have to put him at number two. He's just really annoying. And the fact that he does kind of ruin the episode for me. Uh, and finally, number one. Now, if somebody has seen those He-Man fan commentaries that I did on my old channel, uh, which I am not going to be putting online anymore, they probably already know who number one is. But in case you did not see my fan commentary of the He-Man episode, The Royal Cousin... Here is the number one most annoying He-Man character of all time. Jeremy! Oh my god, I hate this character. Jeremy is the worst child character in television. Period. He is such a hateful little bitch who does nothing but, you know, cause trouble for everybody just to get, to get his kicks. And... <laughs> I mean, yes, child characters in, in the television, they're usually the blood of us and they do something wrong and something happens. And usually it's not their fault because kids, kids do stupid stuff all the time. But Jeremy, they build up this thing, this malicious, malicious little asshole who basically just hands over the big plot device of the day that will cause the, the, will basically cause the universe to fall to evil to the bad guys. And then he starts to feel, oops, I'm feeling really guilty about this. But by that point, it doesn't make any difference. I mean, Jeremy even tries and he and kind of redeem himself at the end of that episode. But by that time, you are just so fed up. You want to strangle this fucking kid. <laughs> That's how bad of a character he is that you don't even care at the end when he, when he tries to make amends for what, he, what he's done. <laughs> Oh my god, if you don't believe me, if you think I'm exaggerating at all, just go, uh, type The Royal Cousin on YouTube, go watch it, and I will swear. The Royal Cousin would be a pretty mediocre episode anyway, but Jeremy just causes it to become the absolute worst episode of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. I'm sorry I got so worked up at the end, but you know, that's what happens when you compose a list of the most annoying characters. For the next list, I'm thinking of maybe doing my um, top five favorite monsters from He-Man, the Masters of the Universe. But if you want something else, else, uh, if you want me to do something else He-Man related, like if you do want me to do like a, my top five favorite characters or my top five favorite episodes or bottom ten, fa bottom five favorite, least favorite episodes, whatever you want to do, just leave it in the comments. But I just want to know that um, 
you know, if people find this He-Man stuff at all interesting. <laughs> so, see you on the next one.